Carbohydrate molecules are also known as sugars or starches. These are molecules that contain either the ketone functional group, the aldehyde group, or the acetal group. In addition to the ketone, aldehyde, or acetal, they also contain many uh, oxygen hydrogen groups, hydroxy groups, or OH groups. There are a lot of different ways that we can classify carbohydrates, and one of the ways that we can classify them is the number, uh, based on the number of units that are in the carbohydrate molecule. This first molecule that's on the very left-hand side here is a carbohydrate that would be classified as a monosaccharide. Mono is the prefix that means one, and saccharide is a word that just means sugar, aka carbohydrate. So a monosaccharide molecule is a molecule that contains just one individual unit of sugar. These are also referred to as simple sugars. They're molecules that can't be broken down into smaller carbohydrates. You can break this molecule down, but when you break it down, it's no longer going to be a carbohydrate. So these are molecules that can't be divided or broken down into a smaller carbohydrate. Some examples of monosaccharides are glucose and fructose. The second structure that we're looking at here is an example of a disaccharide, which translates to mean two sugars. A disaccharide is a molecule that consists of two saccharide units or entities. Each one is shown here as a ring. So this is two sugar molecules uh, held together. Disaccharides are molecules that can be split into two monosaccharides. So these can be divided or split into two monosaccharides. Uh, if we were to divide this, we would split it. This would be one unit and this would be the other unit. Some examples of disaccharides are sucrose or lactose. And then last but not least, which I haven't drawn on this particular slide, is a polysaccharide. I haven't drawn it because they're just really big. A polysaccharide is, as you can imagine from the name, many sugar molecules. Polysaccharides can be split into three or more monosaccharides. And typically, they have hundreds to thousands of individual units. But the technical definition is that it could be three or more monosaccharides. I'm just going to write monos. And a great example of a polysaccharide is starch, which contains anywhere from hundreds to thousands of monosaccharides. In the next video, we're going to look exclusively at monosaccharides with more detail.